It's August 5th, 2009. We're on the Big Island of Hawaii in Waimea, and today we're going to administer a herbicide field trial to identify solutions for managing and suppressing fireweed within our pasture systems. So you can see how fireweed's not a very imposing plant, but it has been able to dominate these systems, particularly in drought conditions. And as you can see over the years, how it has dominated these landscapes. This pasture was recently grazed, and you'll notice there's no browsing injury to the fireweed. And that's because of the alkaloids that are contained within the vegetation are poisonous to the animals. And thus, that's the real problem with this weed in this type of agricultural system. This particular site is often windy as it is right now, and so we're gonna modify our spray system with a downdrop nozzle. It's a XP boom jet um, that throws about two meters uh, a wide swath, and so having it lower will reduce the uh, drift and get most of the chemical on the, on the site. We're also using a compressed air system with uh, individual treatments, and we have three treatments for this experiment. First, we're going to look at 2,4-D, a very common broadleaf herbicide used in pasture management. And then also we have uh, the milestone with the active ingredient aminopyrrolid and um, Cimarron Plus, which is a combination of the sulfonyl ureas, metsulfuron, and the chlorosulfuron. back at Waimea 30 days after our initial herbicide trial and as you can see it's another beautiful blustery day and I'm happy to announce that at 30 days all three of the chemical treatments showed really good post-emergent activity on the fireweed and again those chemical chemical treatments are 2,4-D, Cimarron Plus which is a metsulfuron and chlorosulfuron combination and then finally Milestone which is the active ingredient aminopyrrolid. So you can see 30 days since the herbicide application that these strong winds have desiccated much of the kukuyu grass regrowth, while the fireweed appears to be more tolerant of these drought conditions. 2,4-D was probably our least effective herbicide. While we show signs of necrosis with this application, we also see that some of the flowers are remaining and new bud break. The Cimarron Plus herbicide is showing really good symptoms of necrosis, including complete loss of flowers and very little bud break. Now this is a slower acting herbicide as well, so we suspect that at 60 or 90 days we'll even have better results. Milestone with the active ingredient aminopyrrolid is showing similar results to the Cimarron Plus with complete flower loss and good symptoms of necrosis. Another interesting observation we're making early in this trial is the response of the grass to the herbicide where apparently we're reducing competition which is favorable to grass regrowth. Notice within the untreated area, the desiccated grasses, while in the herbicide treated area on the right, the flush is greener and more lush, suggesting that we've reduced either moisture competition or because of the fireweed having a high alkaloid content, there could be a small release of nitrogen.